Hey guys, mowing on the side here. I wanted to give you a quick breakdown of the um, uh, how I price my lawns and kind of what it uh, what it looks like at the end of the day. Uh, I had a difficult time with this at the beginning of the process. I wouldn't charge enough because uh, I wasn't factoring in my cost appropriately. So I'll just kind of walk you through a couple. I have uh, probably six or seven clients on here, but it's a similar formula. This is a uh, the first one here is a property. Um, it's a flat property. Uh, I charge $50 to mow it. The area that I have to mow is 15,000 square feet. It includes trimming and everything like that. Uh, it takes me about 60 minutes to mow the yard uh, and to do everything. Uh, the time on the mower is about 25 minutes. So it ends up being about an hour total. Um, the price per 1,000 square feet is $3.33. My price per minute uh, ends up being 83 cents per minute. Um, I set up a sinking fund I set up a sinking fund for my uh, equipment, and how I do it is uh, for every hour that I show on my mower, on my lawnmower, I take twenty dollars out and put that into a savings account, um, and I use that to cover all of my equipment. Uh, just because my other stuff, the uh, string trimmer and the backpack blower, they don't have hour meters on them, so I just kind of use that as a as a gauge, and then uh, once I have enough money in there. Uh, you know, a couple thousand dollars by the next mower, by the uh, the next string equipment. I may raise that, I may lower it, just depending on what I've got going and how the equipment's running. But then I also have a, this charge, this is pretty important. Um, I call it a sinking fund for the truck, gas and oil. And uh, every time I stop the equipment, every time I mow a yard, it's $5. Um, you put it in there, uh, put it into the fund. When your truck breaks, when, uh, when you need gas, when you need whatever it might be, um, you've got it in there because every day you're putting uh, five bucks aside every time you stop the truck and put something in there. So on this job, $50 takes me an hour. Uh, my net profit um, on the job after taking the money out for the sinking fund, it's not truly net profit, that's why there's quotes, but uh, basically what I take to the bottom line is 36 almost $37, and it takes me an hour, so I'd make about 36 bucks an hour on that job. Um, the second job that we got here is a uh, this is my neighbor's house, so I give him a pretty good deal. Uh, he char uh, I charge him $25. Uh, there's about 11,400 square feet. Half of it is flat. The other half of it's hill. Uh, it takes me about 40 minutes start to finish. Uh, the time on the mower is about 20 minutes. Uh, price per, per thousand square feet is $2.12. Price per minute is about $0.63. Cents. Um, my sinking fund uh, for the $20 on the, uh, per hour on the mowing meter is going to be just under $7.00 and then five dollars for uh, the gas in the truck. So my net profit on that one's not very good. It's uh, 1333. Hourly profit ends up being 20 bucks an hour. I should raise the price, but it's my neighbor and I'm not gonna do that. Uh, this is a property I have. Uh, this one is mainly a hill. Uh, it's kind of a sloppy yard um, and mainly a hill. Uh, so I charge them $30 an hour. Um, I probably could charge a little bit more, but they throw a lot of work my way uh, in the fall and throughout the year. So, you know, this is a client that I probably do about $1,800 of business with a year. Um, and they're very nice, so I don't uh, I don't raise the price much on their mowing. Um, $30 to mow. Total mowing area is 80, uh, excuse me, 8,000 square feet. It takes me about 30 minutes to mow it. Uh, time on the mower is only 10, but that means there's 20 minutes of weed whipping and edging, which is the part that I don't like very much. Um, so 375 price per minute is a dollar, which is kind of what I shoot for. Uh, sinking fund is going to be 333, and then $5 for stopping the truck. Net profit of 21 bucks. Uh, hourly profit, hourly rate of uh, 43. So it's a good hourly rate, but it's just not a very long job. Um, this next one is another uh, is another uh, couple that throws a lot of work my way. Uh, these folks probably do about two thousand uh, or twenty four hundred dollars a year with me. Um, their yard is flat; it doesn't take very long. Uh, Thirty bucks, uh, ten thousand square feet. Uh, the time to mow is twenty minutes. Time on the mower is twelve minutes. Um, so my price per minute is pretty high right there. Uh, the sinking fund of twenty dollars gives me about nine dollars in sinking fund cost, uh, and that's not really true. I mean, it doesn't really cost me nine dollars to get over there and to mow, but I just do that so that I always have enough money left over to uh, to buy stuff and to fix things if they break. Uh, net profit of $21 on a $30 job. Hourly rate of 63 So that's a good one. Um, this is a... Uh, th the next three are going to be people that are right uh, next, next door to each other. This guy, I only have to cut the front yard. Um, the I would say that the minimum that I charge is $20. Um, but it's actually $15 because the neighbor uh, asked me to, to do that. But I only cut the neighbor when I'm cutting uh, this original customer right here, the Del V. 
Um, so I charge him $20. Um, it takes me about 10 minutes to do the entire yard. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, again, it's, I put the $6 and 67 cents in sinking fund. Uh, so my net profit's 1333. Um, my hourly profit on that is going to end up being about 80. It does, it doesn't take me very long. And then the neighbor came over and asked me if I could do his and same thing. I'd only cut it when I cut this guy's when I'm already there. Um, I still put that $5 sinking fund into my truck, uh, just because you know, that's, that's the rule. That's what I do. Um, and so this is a $15 yard. It's a little bit larger. It takes me just a hair longer to do it. Um, but I'm already out there. Uh, but, uh, you know, this one's not even really, you know, you're only worth $7 and 50 cents, but again, uh, you're kind of already out there. You're already sweaty. You're already hot. Just, you know, put an extra eight bucks in your pocket. Um, do something. Now this yard is, uh, the neighbor on the other side. Uh, so it's, this is the first house second house here and then this is the third one now this is a corner lot it's uh, quite a bit bigger um for the area that needs to be mowed uh we charge 40 for that uh, it takes about 35 minutes start to finish um and then um we go from there so it does about eight dollars into the sinking fund for the equipment five dollars for the truck and um so it ends up being 26 27 dollars in profit uh and then hourly breakdown is about 45 dollars an hour so that's how I do it. One of the uh, one of the other things that I do is when I'm looking for that area, uh, the how to measure that. Um, I might make a video of that later. But what I do is I go through and I make um, uh, I measure it on Google Maps, and with Google Maps we will look at it and just kind of uh, show you how to how to do that. But you can measure the area on it, and then uh, what I do is I kind of keep track of that. And the two most important things to keep track of is going to be the uh, square footage and then the time. Uh, and the time is the, from the time you, your truck gets there till the time you pull out, um, uh, loaded back up and everything like that. So uh, what you need to start doing is, uh, you know, wearing a watch or marking it on your phone or however you can do it that you're going to record it and remember it. But you're going to want to um, know the area, uh, know the time, and you can start to get a consistent uh, feel like, okay, well, it takes me about this long to cut this many square feet. Oh, if it's a hill, it takes me about this long to cut this many square feet. And that way you can give people a price over the phone pretty easily um, just with their address and uh, Google Maps. And you can tell them, like, you know, because if they're calling you, they're ready for someone to cut right now for the most part. And you can say, well, hey, you know, uh, I can, I can, uh, you know, it looks like on Google Map that you have about uh, 20,000 square feet or it looks like you have 10,000 square feet. And uh, so I can cut it for, you know, $35 uh, the first time. And after I cut it that time, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll let you know if I need to increase the price a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, I can cut it for $35 and that way it'll save you the trip of having to drive out there and do that. But uh, I'll save that for another video. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.